Hi, I'm Jamie Finnerty. Uh, I am a VFX producer by trade, but I also own Digital Frontier Effects in Marina Del Rey. We're a small boutique company and I own it with my husband. <laughs> I started my career close to 20 years ago. I started off as the receptionist at Digital Domain during Titanic. Um, it was my first job out of high school, actually. I think to kind of tell the journey, I should tell a little bit about my my, how I got here in the first place, which, you know, for me is one of my cooler stories because it's about my mother. I'm from the Philippines. I was born there. And, you know, she is a super strong-willed person and left an abusive marriage and came here to the United States. And so I have to start my journey by saying that she started it for us by giving us a better life here in the United States. But, you know, when I graduated high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. So I decided to do my undergrad at SMC and move in with my brother who lived by the beach. So I moved out here and it just happened to be one of his roommates worked at Digital Domain and they needed a receptionist. So I had no idea what visual effects does, what anybody did, no clue. I was just like, this sounds cool. I can answer a phone. <laughs> and so late 90s, I started there during Titanic and the tail end of Fifth Element. And I just fell in love. I kind of went down the track of being a PA and, you know, just after answering phones, just, you know, putting out icebergs and cleaning things up and cleaning the kitchen. And then, you know, from there you go, you be, I became a coordinator working on a ton of fun movies at DD. And I kind of just went the production track, going to a production manager, did many years of that. And then you become a digital producer, then a visual effects producer. And that's the fun track, right? I think the longest place I've worked is digital domain. Probably if I added all the years in and out of there it was, it's probably close to eight, but I've worked at all the other larger studios too, like, you know, Method and Rhythm and Hughes and Sony and the big studios and the little ones like Hammerhead. And by personality, I'm a, I'm a facilitator. That's what I'm good at. Like, I'd love to say I'm a creative person. I can look at shots and tell you what I like about them but couldn't tell you the nitty gritty of how to fix it, but I love the process. And so when my husband, like back in 2013, decided, you know, when all of our jobs were going up to Canada because of the incentives, we just didn't have the luxury to pick up and move. So, you know, he's, he has a daughter here. So it was just kind of like, you know what, we can't do this. And so we decided to open our own visual effects company. <laughs> and it started small in our basement, worked with Wayne who introduced us, you know, it, like we got referred and got more jobs and we moved from the basement to an office in downtown. Now, eight years later, we're in the marina, you know, we're anywhere from 20 to 30 people, depending on how many shows we've got in house, you know, we're work we jobs for Marvel and for Apple and, you know, we're and Amazon. <laughs> we're pretty lucky. The company's done well and we've grown. I did learn early on in my career because I got to taste, you know, seeing all what the artists did in production, like what was I really good at? I was good at management. I was good at staffing. I was good at helping other people get things done. So I think people inspired me. And I was like, never in my wildest dream did I think to myself, I would own my own company someday. And, you know, with my husband, which is a whole other story for another day. So people inspire me to dream bigger and, you know, try things that I normally wouldn't and that are a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm good at getting people together to get something done and keeping it on track. And, you know, so I took my skills and applied it to something I could do for the rest of my life. <laughs> I think I would have told myself to take a little bit more of a chance on myself sooner and earlier in my career. Cause I think, uh, you know, because my parents did always push us to do try hard. And if you keep your head down and you work hard, people will notice how hard you work and, and, you know, you'll get rewarded. So I think, in my career, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing, I just, I always waited to be promoted. I always waited to be noticed. I never kind of took that step forward and be like, you know what, I deserve this. And, you know, I want it. This is what I can do. I wish I had believed that I could push myself a little further sooner. And I think I would have told my young self, hey, Jamie, believe in yourself. You can do this. You can own your own company. You can, you know, you can work on Marvel projects that you brought in yourself through your relationships over the years. And, you know, you can do this. <laughs> I think that's what I would tell myself. <laughs>